It's the New York Mets and Chicago Cubs on NBC Sports Chicago, home of the authentic fan. Should be a fun day at the ballpark. We will finish a suspended game from last night before the regularly scheduled game three of this series. And if you missed it last night, the Mets and Cubs played into the 10th inning. It was 1-1 before we suspended the game and Cole Hamels was magnificent once again five shutout innings he's been just outstanding as a cub yeah we anticipated a, a big uh, performance by the pitchers we got it Hamels a five a shutout now has an 069 ERA in a cub uniform I can't imagine anybody else being the pitcher of the month in the National League other than Cole Hamels this guy uh, DeGrom probably the National League Cy Young Award winner he was outstanding last night punched out 10 against one walk and eight innings of one run ball. Yep. We played good defense as well. And he had to get go ahead hit here in the sixth inning to give the Mets a one to nothing lead. Seventh inning now. Yeah, this, this, How did this, Jorge De La Rosa get out this of this? This is the tail of the game, right? The wind turned around, otherwise that ball flies out of here. But despite that, it's still a leadoff triple for the Mets. Check this out. Rocket out. Next hitter, Rocket, out. Walks a man and then ultimately punches out Jay Bruce on a pitch that's probably out of the strike zone. So De La Rosa uh, living the good life last night an inning and two thirds scoreless from here. Here's how the Cubs get on the board. David Bodie picking on an elevated fastball. First pitch drives the ball to center field. Sack fly brings home Al Mora. So Steve Ciszek threw a couple of pitches. To Michael Conforto in the tenth before the rain started and wasn't going to stop, so the right decision to suspend the game. Uh, in years past, it would have been a one-one time. We would have started over, but I think the rule change was a good one. Oh, absolutely! You know, you've invested all that time and energy into a game. There's no need to start all over. So, uh, you know, we have no idea how long this game is going to go here today. It's a little misty, wet right now, but I don't think it's going to impact. Uh, play this afternoon. Steve Ciszek will take the mound uh, with a, uh, a hitter's count 2 and 0 on a dangerous hitter and Michael Conforto. Both teams will have a 26th man for the regularly scheduled game later today. James Norwood a right hander will be available in the Cubs bullpen but not for the game. We are continuing 1 1 will uh, hopefully uh, see the Cubs end this thing quickly and not use a ton of bullpen. That's you know something Joe has to think about he was asked if Alec Mills would be available at all for the first game he said it's more likely Anthony Rizzo would pitch uh, in game one he <laughs> is just, saving Alec Mills to start game one two. one way to answer the question uh, Kinsler De La Rosa Edward Strope and now Ciszek have all worked in this ball game already the good news is other than uh, De La Rosa the other guys have not thrown that many pitches so uh, should be in play uh, for the game here this afternoon uh, but you know right now because the, you know this thing goes a long while somebody's going to have to pick up some innings and for the Mets uh, we found out after the game uh, last night Robert Gesellman uh, has been dealing with strep throat uh, and he's been closing for them lately I guess he is at the ballpark but we are unsure of his availability so if the Mets get a lead here in extras uh, Mickey Calloway may have to do something different than he has done here recently. They'll have a right-hander, Jacob Rehm, as their 26th man for Game Two. By the way, his ninth call-up here in 2018. Wow. It's got to be close to a record. It's pretty remarkable. Yeah, the Mets bullpen is in pretty good shape here. Uh, you know, other than Gesellman, because they got eight innings from Degrom, so it's been Degrom and then one from Lugo so far. So the Cubs have taken the field behind Steve Ciszek. Cubs using Kinsler, De La Rosa, Edwards, and Strope before Ciszek. And after Cole Hamels. I wonder if Steve was tempted to run in from the bullpen to start this afternoon's proceedings. He has pitched 64 times this year, second most. Appearances in the National League. He's 4 and 1 with a 180 earned run average. 60 innings. He's allowed just 37 hits, 21 walks, 67 punch outs, three home runs, and one came in his last outing. It was a game tire, and then uh, David Bodie broke the tie with a game winning home run. 
if you're wondering and some people do wonder we did have a, a national anthem before the resumption of this game and it was Wayne Mesper he did a great job uh, we will not have another rendition of the anthem before game two so production wise here inside the park they're treating this like a straight up double header game two will start either 45 minutes after the completion of game one or at 120 uh, whichever comes later I guess we will not yeah, start no game two sooner. before uh, 120. So uh, last night when Conforto was up there he was looking to try to bunt against the shift and, and the wind was uh, crazy last night and that changed directions about three times and when he was up there last night the wind had turned around and was blowing pretty hard from left to right so it was really surprising to see him looking to bunt I would imagine he's he'd be in a full on swing mode here 2 and 0 it looks like the wind's going to help to right field a little bit today as well. well three balls and no strikes on the Mets leadoff man here in the 10th. Conforto has struck out three times and lined to first. The Mets were wearing their all gray road uniforms when this game started, but going with the alternate blue tops to finish it. Filed back three and two, so Ciszek back in it. Shift to the right on the infield. And he walked him. So, you know, they have the win probability, right? The the idea of before every plate appearance, which team has the better odds of winning the game. Once you get into extra innings, you certainly would say the home team has the advantage. But when you start a suspended game and it's 2 and 0 on that leadoff man. I'm sure that tips it a slightly just a little bit yeah in the other direction yeah. too. Now Todd Frazier takes up and in. Mets have seven hits in this ball game a couple extra base hits a leadoff double by Rosario to start the game and then that triple McNeil hit in the seventh that we showed you everything else has been singletons and four of them on the infield including Frazier's leadoff single in the sixth. Frazier bounces foul. I showed you the good fortune that De La Rosa had in the sixth inning. Brandon Kinsler started that inning. He gave up that little softy to Frazier and then walked Jay Bruce on what appeared to be a strike. Runner at first, nobody out, tenth inning. And a step off by Ciszek. Home plate umpires Ramon De Jesus. I'm guessing he will not have to work game two. That's typically how it goes for a double header day for the umpires. Slider strike. It's one and two. A little harder slider than we're used to seeing from Ciszek. Typically it's around 77. That one clocked at 80 miles an hour. Swing and a miss. Frazier strikes out. Where he likes to go for the punch out with that elevated fastball from that uh, sidearm delivery. Gets a lot of swings and misses up. And now Jay Bruce, the first baseman. The 13th strikeout recorded by Cubs pitchers in this ball game. Backdoor slider misses outside. I wanted to say today, but it's really only the first today. It messes with your mind, the whole the baseball calendar and the real world mm -hmm. calendar in conflict. Cubs will play. Over the next three days in three different cities here in Chicago today in Atlanta tomorrow night and then Friday in Philadelphia. The 
2 0 serve. Bruce swung through a fastball at 90. This is the final day of uh, Joe Madden's American Legion week, in which he tells the players to come in a little later. Don't focus as much on the prep. Kind of like you playing Legion ball back in the day. Well, tip strike two. And, uh, aside from the anthem and everything that went on before this resumption, it, it this definitely has the feel of a, a Legion game or a minor league game. Not that many people in the stand, although it's starting to fill in. Outside. And a full count. We'll see if Mickey Callaway has Conforto on the move here. With one out and full count. Overcast and mild today. And as JD said, wind left to right as we get started. Runner goes, called strike three, the throw. In time, they got him. Strike him out, throw him out, double play. And that'll take us to the bottom of the tenth. One to one. What a tag. There's nothing like summer at Wrigley Field, except for fall. The push is on. And when every W matters, we need everybody in. This copyrighted telecast is presented by the authority of the Chicago Cubs and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of the Chicago Cubs. I am a mentor angel to someone right now, and he also has prostate cancer, as, as did I. What I had gone through was quite, a, quite an experience of just something I can do to help somebody else who's going through that journey with that fear and anxiety that I had get to the point where they're smiling one day like I'm smiling right now. If there's a way I can help somebody get to that, I'm, I'm all for it. My name is Beth Bond. I'm a survivor of chronic myelogenous leukemia. I am an angel with Immerman. The beauty of the angels are that they're not just survivors, they're the caregivers as well. I've hooked my mom up with one of them just to exchange a few emails. Somebody who understood what it is to face the mortality of their own child, human connection plays a significant role in the road to recovery. Attention women who suffered serious complications while using Assure for permanent birth control. The Assure birth control may break or migrate after insertion, puncturing the fallopian tube, resulting in corrective surgery to remove the device. If Assure birth control caused serious complications or the need for corrective surgery to remove the birth control, or if a loved one died, you may be entitled to compensation. Call Assure Justice now. Please call 800-413-5080. More of a situational type lefty. You see 53 games, but just 34 innings of work. A lot of times it's just a hitter or two at a time. It's a Bodie first, but then uh, pitcher spot Rizzo. Wilson Contreras is in the on deck circle. Well, it's a little more walk off magic in David Bodie here. That'd be fun. Levens to Bodie. Oh, get out of here. Fouls it back our way. And Levens faced three, gave up three hits, two runs in the opener of this series. Those were the first runs he'd given up in uh, quite some time. Great strike him out, throw him out to get out of the top of the tent. Caratini and Baez teaming up. Your team threw out Rosario earlier in the ball game trying to steal third base. It was a really good throw, but man, it's that lightning fast tag by Baez. Very few middle infielders are that good. Well, it's and it's his willingness to wait for the ball. The ball is going to move quicker than your hands. And some guys will reach out and get the ball and then try to pull it back to apply the tag. 
two Bodie stays alive just got a piece of the curveball from Blevins. Cubs lost a half game on their lead over St. Louis added a half game over Milwaukee four ahead of St. Louis five and a half ahead of Milwaukee. Two curve ball is outside. Look, a lot of these dramatic hits that Bodie has had have come with two strikes. Very lightly raining. And Bodie strikes out. As the bat goes flying into the dugout, fortunately everybody's okay over there. And that's the first out. Yeah, way out front of the off-speed pitch. Levin's off to a good start with the punch out of Bodie. Backdoor curveball. So Contreras getting the at-bat here. That will leave just Ian Happ on the Cubs bench. Probably won't see David uh, Daniel Murphy rather uh, Javi Baez might get a break for game two and uh, Joe promises a very different looking lineup. Contemplating Kyle Schwarber as the leadoff man for game two against lefty Jason Vargas outside for a ball. Last time the Mets and Cubs were suspended was due to darkness here at Wrigley Field in 1986. A fairly common circumstance before late 1988 here at Wrigley Field. Kick and a 1 1 to Contreras is hit hard and fouled to right. I don't know if you recall any uh, games here when you played that went into the early evening hours and finished just before it got too dark. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I have a vague memory of uh, uh, Craig Biggio. I think he had home run off Goose Gossage, as a matter of fact, here. And I don't know if that was you know, proved to be a game ender, if it sent it into extras, but I remember it being dark. On the ground to the shortstop, Rosario. It's out number two. Uh, didn't Biggio hit his first big league homer off Goose? I don't know. Maybe that's what. I maybe think, I'm. Maybe I think I'm it was here. Maybe I'm meshing those memories. I'll tell you. Anthony Rizzo, the batter. Craig Biggio's first home run was top of the tenth to break a tie at Wrigley Field on. August 22nd, 1988, off Gossage. August what? 20 what? 22nd, 1988. So, so it would have been post lights. That would have been with the lights huh. installed. <laughs> Strike to Anthony. Two outs, nobody on bottom of the tenth. One and one. Cubs with eight hits in the game, all singles. Anthony has three of them. to be once you got through five innings and it was a tie game they would call it a tie and you'd have to make up the game again from scratch 
That seemed to be a silly rule. No reason to start over. Old foul. I remember as a kid looking at some baseball cards and seeing a few guys playing in 163 games and I could never figure out how that happened. Well, that's how it happened. Lined in the right. Rizzo's got four hits in this ball game. Man oh man. Seven hits in the first two games of the series. Yeah, he's been, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, locked in for a good while now. He's the uh, reigning player of the week. Yeah, so the game suspended doesn't count the standings, but the individual numbers count. Right. So the old suspended rule in terms of the score was game stopped in the middle of an inning in which the visiting team took the lead. A regulation game called with the score tied. That's where they they tweaked it. First base with two outs. Now rarely will you see Blevins reach 90 miles per hour with his fastball. Sweeping curveball, change up. 6'6, six, six, 190. Swing and a miss. And the rule change we are talking about uh, happened in 2007 regarding ties. Swing and a miss on a slow hook. And we will go to the 11th. It's the Cubs one and the Mets one. We're not your average airline, and we wouldn't have it any other way. We do everything differently on purpose for one purpose. You. You're the reason we fly to 99 destinations and why we don't charge you fees to change your flight or check two bags. You, you, you. Over 130 million of you chose to fly Southwest last year. That's what matters most to us. I think I have a problem. Yeah? I keep advertising AT&T internet speeds up to 50 megs, but it can be as low as 10. Yeah. You can relate. You're the boy who cried. Hang on a second. Whoa! I mean, 10 megs for the same price. Can you just say wolf? Please? Wolf! Maybe I should come clean about AT&T. Wolf, run for your life! Wolf! <laughs> oh. Not cool, AT&T. 10 megs isn't 50. Xfinity delivers the fastest, most reliable internet. Wandering through secret hills and telling stories around the grill. From lazing out on peaceful docks to raging to a band that rocks. You never know just where in life Corona cans might take you now. Food truck food on city nights with neon burning bright. Digging for Corona cans in coolers full of ice. Never ending summer nights with cold cans of Corona light. You never know just where in life Corona cans might take you now. Back here at Wrigley Field, the ticket holders today have tickets for the regularly scheduled game. But they get some bonus baseball. And Jesse Chavez, who got the final out 
Actually the final two outs on Monday to notch his second save with the Cubs this season and his third overall. Will work here in the 11th. Yeah Cubs had to piece it together the other night in, on Monday and he was the last man standing he punched out two, picked up the save he's been really good since putting on a Cub uniform. He's been fairly busy too Joe has called his number quite often. Lowecki has struck out twice grounded out twice 0 for 4 he homered in game one. The pitch just Oof. off the corner on a cutter. Starters getting no decisions. Negrom eight innings, one run, ten strikeouts. Hamels five innings, no runs, eight punchouts. Fouled straight back. Talk a lot about guys pounding the strike zone. Well, Chavez spent his MO two thirds of the time he throws strike one. Cubs will fly to Atlanta tonight. The Mets are off to San Francisco. They have an off day. Tomorrow and a weekend set starting Friday night against the Giants. Popped up, shallow right. Zobris calls off Rizzo. So one away now, Brandon Nimmo. This is his first game back from the DL. And a bruised left index finger. He had gone 10 for his last 14 before he got hurt. But 0 for 4 with three strikeouts in this game. And it takes high for a ball. Um, Nimmo, excuse me, really having a, a nice year. He takes a lot of walks. He has power. He's got some speed. I mean, maybe a little bit off coming off the disabled list with those three punch outs. His other at bat to pop up on the infield. Strike called one and two. Mostly hard stuff from uh, Chavez, fastballs and cutters. Looks in the occasional change up or slider. At the edge, Wilmer Flores on deck to hit for Blevins. Two two base hit. Memos aboard. This season kind of mirroring his team's offense hitting 296 on the road in the 230s at home. Just about to a man you'll find those kinds of home road splits with this Mets team. It's, it's really odd now that you know, it's a tough hitters park and, and the big dimensions but it's uh, really curious how it's a suppressed batting average for them uh, back home at City Field this year. Flores off the bench. Chavez will fire over. Nimmo did not have a big lead. So first base coach Ruben Amaro Jr. Glenn Sherlock is over third.
It's a straight. Pops it up, and the high foul will be back to the seats. Flores, the first guy that Callaway has used off his bench in this game. So he's got the three bats remaining. A couple of right handed hitting catchers, Tomas Nito and uh, Devin Mezzarocco. And then the switch hitter, Jose Reyes. I don't know of uh, Mezzarocco's availability. Yeah. Uh, the neck. Issue probably, he has been dealing with. Probably emergency only, eh? Yeah, and with Gaselman's situation, you know, Mets not playing with a full complement of players here. Well, Mickey Calloway was named after Mickey Mantle. That makes sense. Yeah. Gotta be a big league player if you're named after the Mick. Yeah. And he was. And now big league manager. Turned out to be a pitcher, but oh well. One and two on Flores. Another check on the runner. Strike him out, throw him out in the 10th. A line out, throw him out in the 11th. Still tied at one. Line drive's been a heck of a weapon for the Cubs today. Every time a Friday feels like a family reunion, a Corona gets its line. Every time your favorite song is everyone's favorite song. Every time your work friends and your friend friends become friends. Every time it feels like you're the only two people in the room. And every time it's like you're the only people on earth, a Corona gets its line. In Chicago's weather, accuracy matters. The NBC5 storm teams get the most accurate radars. Live Doppler 5, cutting through severe weather to see the next wave that's approaching. Other radars may only see the first line of storms. Storm Ranger 5, our own Doppler radar that goes right to the storm. Filling in the gaps that fixed radars miss. No one else in Chicago owns two Doppler radars to keep you safe. On air and with you live on our app. Chicago's most accurate weather from the NBC5 storm team. The new school year is almost here, and a new iPhone from T-Mobile is the best way to keep in touch. Or keep tabs on their extracurricular activities. Oh. Yep. He skipped orientation for the beach. <laughs> he takes after me. Oh, you yeah. know it's true. Join T-Mobile and get an iPhone for everyone in the family. Buy an iPhone 8, get an iPhone 8 on us. <laughs> Only at T-Mobile. One Cubs game, two networks. That's different, too. There's Paul Seawall, the right-hander. Going four with a 5-5-4 earned run average for the Metropolitans. 15 to third innings, 54 hits, eight long balls. He's walked 17, struck out 51. Not a power arm, average fastball velocity right around 90 miles per hour. Slider and a changeup. Former college teammate of Chris Bryant at the University of San Diego. KB still on his rehab assignment with AAA Iowa. Javier Baez trying to end the game on that swing. Balls in the air against Seawald. Fouled away. I 
Fly has an infield hit in the fourth. Strikeouts in the first, sixth, and eighth. He was up there in the eighth with uh, two on and nobody out. The single Rizzo, Walk, Hayward, and Javi was up there, and it looked like he got caught in between trying to decide whether to bunt for a hit or not. And showed bunt a couple of times, and, and DAB kind of disintegrated on him. One and two. Cubs out hitting the Mets 9 8. Just low. So De Jesus, um, for the most part in this ball game, has been, I think, pitcher friendly in and out, maybe hitter friendly up and down. Full count, Caratini on deck. Well, this is the old, if you're going to nibble, you better commit to it. You don't want to throw him a breaking ball in the zone right now, and I doubt that he wants to challenge with the heater. He he was wise it. to it. So, Baez aboard. Let's see how aggressive he is as Caratini will walk up. Good work by Baez there. A chance to be a hero, but uh, wouldn't bite on that slider off the plate. A little bit closer maybe he offers, but just you know, a real good plate appearance, understanding what Seawald's trying to do to him. Bruce holds on the runner. Caratini bunts. It's a good one. Seawald it away. It's off the tarp. Bias to third. Big turn. He's going to hold there. Cubs have <laughs> runners at second and third with nobody out. Oh, my. Boy, that was fun to watch because you know, had Baez picked it up earlier that that throw was there, he might have scored. But he's busting it into second base. It took him a moment to realize where this ball ended up after the Aaron throw by Seawall. Little slip on the on the back foot. Overthrows the coverage. And then you see Javi breaking it down and then picking it up. Albert Almora will bat with the bases loaded. Kyle Schwarber intentionally walked. Will the Mets go with a five-man infield? It doesn't look like it by the way that was the first leadoff walk taken by Baez this season and that has set everything up sacrifice and an error no hits and they're loaded and ball one to Almora I wonder what your win probability chart says now 99.9 .9. Infield in, outfield in. Strike call. Now you've got a very aggressive base runner at third. However, anything that gets past Ploiecki, you got to make sure with nobody out. You cannot get thrown out at the plate here if you're Baez. Yeah, same thing on a, a you know medium depth fly ball here. One because, and two. Because there are no outs. One out, you're going to be much more aggressive. Ben Zobrist on deck. You also don't have an elite reliever on the mound. You don't have a big arm out there that strikes out 35% you know, of the batters he faces. Golden opportunity for the Cubs to end this game. In the 11th. The pitch. Fouled away. Maybe a little uh, over 
Cook slider to the backstop here. Another one, two, called, strike Ooh. three. Paint at the outside corner with the heater. <laughs> that was it. Unbelievable pitch by Seawall. Drop down, shaves the outside edge against a, a normally very aggressive hitter. Albert saw it away, and it just caught the outside edge. Mickey Callaway is going with a lefty. He's got Daniel Zamora, and he will turn around Zobrist with the bases loaded in the 11th, one out, and we'll be right back. I am the new Reese's Outrageous Blizzard only at DQ. I am Reese's Peanut Butter Cups and Reese's Pieces Candies in one blizzard. Plus, brace yourselves, caramel. Outrageous! Because I'm not fast food. I am fan food. Fidelity is redefining value for investors. Introducing zero account fees for brokerage accounts. And zero minimums to open an account. We have Fidelity Mutual Funds with zero minimum investment. And now, only Fidelity offers two zero expense ratio index funds directly to investors. Because when you invest with Fidelity, all those zeros really add up. So maybe Get four lines of unlimited data for a hundred bucks a month. Plus four free smartphones when you switch. Whoops. Unlimited. Yeah. Smile, you're on Cricket. Corona wants you to have a great summer. But don't do it because we want you to. Do it because it's what summer wants. The summer wants you to slip out of the office and into a swimsuit. And get pulled in all the right directions. It wants bonfires that go way later than they should. See those Coronas in the air? That's all summer. Basically, if you're summering with a Corona in hand, you're doing it right. But don't take it from us. Take it from summer. Well, it's been a dramatic season, to say the least. Here at Wrigley Field. Yeah, walk-offs coming in all manner of way. Uh, Hayward with the grand slam. Now Moore goes the other way. There's a walk-off walk for you for David Bodie. Bodie and Rizzo went back-to-back -back against the Diamondbacks. To win it. Here's Ben Zobrist. One out, base is full. Baez a winning run at third and a foul strike. So Daniel Zamora, your mission, should you choose to accept it, seventh major league appearance for the rookie left hander. So far, so good, but just four and a third innings under his belt and he uh, came to the Mets from double A. He did not even pitch at triple A. The 0-1 is ball one. <laughs> one and one. He Ooh. thought it was a strike. Yeah, he thought back he might door. get the call too. Yeah. That's a big pitch. Lewacki uh, bending the home plate umpire's ear after that one. And again Outfield in. Ground ball up the middle. Cubs win it. Cubs win. Baez scores on the Zobrist single. Two on the final. Yeah, if you're a bet man, you'd put, put a lot of chips on uh, Ben Zobrist in that situation against the rookie left-hander. Just so calm under pressure. Doesn't let the moment get to him. And there's a summit meeting on the mound. They only needed one hit in the 11th to get it done. Well, it all started with Javi Baez taking the leadoff walk. It ends with Ben Zobris shooting a solid single up the middle. So seven in a row, season high win streak, six and zero to start the homestand. St. Louis four and a half out Milwaukee six games back. 
in the NL Central. Chance for a sweep later today. So this is the second time DeGrom has pitched against the, the Cubs this year. He pitched brilliantly both times. His club lost in extra innings both times. First time it was back in June when Luke Farrell went like five or six innings out of the bullpen. Today uh, it was more of a group effort. Uh, six different relievers come in behind Cole Hamels. Kelly's on the field. It is our on the diamond interview presented by James and Sons Fine Jewelers. Thanks a lot. Well, Ben, I heard you guys saying right here, three singles, that's all it takes to get this one done. And Javier Baez, his first leadoff walk of the season to get that inning started. That was his first one. Yeah. <laughs> walk us through that inning and how it unfolded. Well, it was great. You know, I mean, uh, good quality at bats. Obviously, Javi got it started there. I think he was down in the count early and then, you know, um, just took some really good pitches toward the end of that to get to get on base and we know when his wheels get on base there's good things can, can happen quickly so you know um, followed it with Vic and then um, you know base is loaded there you just you know I know what the pitcher has I'm just trying to put a good swing on it and there's one down we got one more to go today I was just gonna say did it feel strange how bizarre was it to come out here and get going in the 10th inning uh, you know it's it's bizarre you know um, noon game too a little rickety kind of getting it going today, but uh, we're looking forward to getting this second game started and glad we got the first two wins of the series here. So great job by our bullpen guys as well. Um, what, what do you go about now in between games? How do you get prepared for the next one? Try to stay loose. Yeah, yeah, yeah 45 minutes here. So, yeah, just do what we can to stay loose and, and get it going for the second game. All right, Ben, thanks a lot. We appreciate it. Sure, thanks. Guys, Ben Zobris, the walk-off single here today. All right, Kelly, thank you. And Ben will receive a $500 gift card from James and Sons Fine Jewelers. And we will have game two a little later for JD, for Kelly. You guys worked really hard today. Oof. Excellent. Take a break. And our entire crew, Len Casper with your final score 2 1 Cubs in 11. Stay with us. We have. Blue Cross Blue Shield post game live coming up. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Illinois post game live and then game two to follow. All right, Cubs get it done again. Seven consecutive victories. They're four and a half up on the Cardinals. Six now on the Milwaukee Brewers. He's David DeJesus. I'm David Kaplan. Okay, you've been in this situation before where you've had to play doubleheader or finish yeah. one and go play the next. I know Joe Madden's going to have some creative, funky lineup, he said, for yeah. the final game of this series today. Do you now go, well, guys, I got to step on their throat. I got a team that's down, that's struggling. I got a chance to really get this thing yeah, good. This, this is the time where you want to just play your best game this next game. You want to sweep another series. You just beat the, came off the Reds where you just swept them. Now it's time to sweep a, a low team as the Mets. And then just because you have a stretch of games where all these games are going to matter. These are good teams you're playing. You want to play your best going into those series. Yeah, you got Atlanta for a game tomorrow night and then Friday, Saturday, yeah. Sunday in Philly. You still got to go to Washington. You got a four city 11 game trip. A lot to do. All right. This is weird to say. Cubs win. Pre-game show is coming up next right here on NBC Sports. Talk. Here's how Old Dominion puts together a winning performance. It takes precision, like how we're number one in claims prevention. It takes hustle, like our over 99% on time rate. And it takes consistently going the distance to earn our fans' loyalty. That's why we're number one in customer satisfaction. Old Dominion, official freight carrier of Major League Baseball. This isn't just any long-distance relationship. This is long-distance with the best Wi-Fi experience, plus the most free shows to stream. And with savings on wireless, this is a relationship with more money to spend on the important things. This is how Xfinity makes life simple, easy, awesome. Get started with Xfinity Internet for just $19.99 a month for 12 months. Plus, ask how you can save on your wireless bill when you include Xfinity Mobile with your Internet. Click, call, or visit a store today. So we're moving along. Going 
Michelin Premier. Safe when new, safe when worn. water heater failed she was pregnant in-laws were coming a little bit of water it really it rocked our world i had no idea the amount of damage that water could do we called usaa and they they greeted me as they always do sergeant baker how are you they were on it it was unbelievable having insurance is something everyone needs but having usaa that's a privilege we're the bakers and we're usaa members for life usaa get your insurance quote today Captain Obvious and Hotels.com rewards me basically everywhere. So why am I hosting a dental convention after party in my Vegas suite? Or wearing a full body wetsuit at this spa retreat? Or sliding into this ski lodge with my mini horse Kevin? Because Hotels.com lets me do me, right? Sorry, the cold makes him a little horse. Hotels.com. You do you and get rewarded. You're wearing a hat. That's funny. Cubs baseball on NBC Sports Chicago is brought to you in part by your Chicagoland in Northwest Indiana Honda dealers. As reliable as the cars themselves. Xfinity. Xfinity delivers the fastest internet with the best in-home Wi-Fi experience. Call, click, or visit an Xfinity store today. And by Toyota. Tested. Trusted. Toyota. Toyota. Let's go places. Presented by Fields Auto Group. And again, outfield in. Ground ball up the middle. Cubs win it. Cubs win. Baez scores on the Zobrist single. Two on the final. All right, Cubs get it done. They're 78 and 53. Four and a half up on the Cardinals now in the NL Central with 32 to play. And you look at that record there. Uh, 31 actually not a play after that game. 2-10 and 1 is just a scotch better than 1-8 and 0. Chavez 5 and 2 now over Seawald 0 and 5. Hello, welcome in to Cubs pregame live presented by the Fields Auto Group along with David DeJesus. I'm David Kaplan. Okay, not often do we do a pregame show but look back at a game <laughs> that ended like 10 minutes ago. But that's a real good win, and now one to go in the series. Yes, and that's the guy in Ben Zobers you want up in that situation. Bases loaded, one out, bottom of the, what, 11th or 10th. And he's a guy that all season long has come up with big hit after big hit. He's going to give you a good at bat, and he's a guy that's not going to try and do too much. He's not going to worry about hitting the ball out. He just wants to get a base hit and the game. And the celebration, they want to rip his jersey and stuff like that, but they couldn't because he might be playing the next right. game. So. A little muted. <laughs> exactly. All right, we got another game, guys. All right, it's almost time for you to get interactive with our show. Get your mobile, your laptop, or your tablet ready. Head to NBCSportsChicago.com slash vote. In just a few minutes, we'll bring you our daily live fan vote. Let's look at today's action. Let's go to the Men Mets 10, top 10. We start where we ended up last night. Steve Ciszek walks Michael Conforto after coming into today's action. Down 2-0 in the count when all that rain hit. He then gets Frazier on a K. Uh, and then he's going to get Jay Bruce on a K. And the inning is over along with Conforto being caught stealing. What a great throw. Yeah, Car Caratini twice this game threw someone out. Rosario at third base and threw out right there at second base. That, that tag by Baez, he just he has that tendency to just wait for that ball. It's special because a lot of guys go out, try and grab it, and then tag. He relies on weights, tags it, boom. Bottom 11, there's the bunt after Javi walked. And uh, Javi probably yeah. could have scored on this play, but he had no idea the ball <laughs> got over the first baseman's head on a terrible throw because he goes in there. And then you he see Rosario, heard. the yeah. shortstop, say, I don't know if he said, oh, blank. Or, oh, it go overthrow. <laughs> and Javi looked, oh, there and he go. took off. And then Zobris delivers after Almora struck out on a close pitch. And there's the ball game. Yes, that was a great job by the Cubs manufacturing that inning. When they make mistakes, you want to capitalize on it, and you have the right guy up in the right situation. There you go. The 
Get the job done, pick up another victory. Yep. You've won seven in a row. You feel good. Yep. You know, hey, we're jumping on a plane tonight either way, boys. Let's do it feeling good. Yep. Let's go get win number three in the series. And especially with Joe Madden already saying that this might be a, a mixed-up lineup. So now you won your two, and now, hey, if you can sweep, it's always good. And then it gives, an, it gives young guys or whoever's playing today another opportunity to go out there, show what they can do, because Chris Bryant is coming. And that's a question. It might of be as quick as tomorrow. It could be tomorrow. Who's going to get taken off the roster? That's another question. Right. And with a rosters expanding on Saturday, whoever it is, hey, we'll have you back here in two days. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Relax. Exactly. But they're going to need a roster spot. Exactly. No He's question. Be ready soon. It. All right. It was another nice start by Cole Hamels last night. He went five innings, allowing no two runs times. on four hits. He walked three and struck out eight more along the way. And even when he had some traffic, he was able to make a big pitch in a big spot. Yes, and it was that changeup. He always been went back to that changeup to get a big out, and he was always off of the strikeout. He was his fastball command wasn't as good that game. But he's just a guy that knows how to pitch, knows how to put the right pitch in the right situation, and was able to get him out. He, he said in the post game that he hated that he walked Jackson three times, but it didn't hurt him because he got the strikeout on the next batter each and every time. Did a really good job. Look at him now with the Cubs through his first six starts. This is historic, folks. This has never happened in Major League Baseball. 39 innings, 28 hits, four runs, three earned, 38 Ks to 11 walks, has in a lot of long ball, and an ERA microscopic of 0.69, and he has a complete game. This guy is a stud. This guy has changed the Cubs season single-handedly when he just infused just a guy that's dominating every time out there. He's helped the other pitchers up their game, and now the offense with, Dave, with uh, Daniel Murphy coming over, you just see it's just starting to connect, and these guys are clicking at the right time. No question about it. All right, USA Today's Bob Nightingale reported earlier this week that Joe Madden's job, he said, he's hearing whispers could be in jeopardy should the Cubs miss the playoffs or if they are eliminated early in the postseason. Madden met with the media yesterday, called the report dumb, and Theo Epstein told the Chicago Sun-Times, Madden, who's under contract through next season, is in good standing with the organization. Look, it's time for our Miller Lite Cubs fan poll to vote. Visit NBCSportsChicago.com slash vote. You don't need a special app. Just visit that website, get interactive with David and with me. Today's question is, do you think the Cubs will give Joe Madden a contract extension before the start of the 19 season? I think they will. I think they'll extend him out maybe an extra year so he has 19 and 20, or maybe through 21, which is when Theo's deal is up. Do you think it's dependent on how they do this postseason, though? Um, look, if you told me that, God forbid, they tanked here, just struggled, and didn't get in the playoffs, I guess any... Oh. It's pro sports, yeah. but yeah. I, I don't see any scenario. They're the winningest team in the regular season in all of baseball since the day that guy was named manager. 15, 16, 17, and 18. He won the World Series where they hadn't done it in 108 years. Mm. He's gone to three straight NLCS. There is no scenario in my world that that guy should even have had his name mentioned in whispers. And, and it's a lot of guys that you know, quoting random people. Put your name out there if you're saying stuff like this. But what Joe Madden has done to this organization, he's changed the culture inside the Bingo. locker room. And he has given guys the opportunity to just be themselves on that field. When I was there in 12 and 13, it was just very just structured, rules-based. When Joe came over and brought that, hey, man, I can be myself there. I can have fun on the field going with these things like the Legion week where it's been a success for him throughout his whole career. You just, things like that just breed winning. And he's, all, all he's done since he's come over to the Cubs is win baseball games. Yeah, big time. So, I, I, again, it's news. No reason. Yeah. It's in USA Today, and exactly. Joe had to address it. But for me, come on, come no on. shot. Uh, keep voting. Results are coming up. We have to take our first time on a Cubs pregame live presented by the Fields Auto. When we come back, we look ahead to today's regularly scheduled tournament. And Alec Mills will get the ball. He makes his second start in the Cubs uniform. Our Kelly Crow will go one-on-one -on -one with the right-hander. And it's 28 minutes to the start of the regularly scheduled game. There's still time to give Felco a call. 866-4-FEL-DCO. Be right back.
Cubs pregame live is presented by Fields Auto Group. Fields matters because you matter. See Fields first. FieldsAuto.com. Hello, I'm Dan Fields, inviting you to become a member of the Fields family when you buy or lease from any of our 35 locations. Lease a new 2018 Volvo XC60 for only $4.98 per month for 36 months at Fields Volvo Northfield. Right away, once we walked in, it felt like we were at home. After all, you are family. And Fields matters because you matter. They have all the amenities, and it comes with the deal. No extra charge. Fields Volvo Northfield on Frontage Road. It's not just a coaster, you know. It's an invitation. Jim Beam on the rocks. The bourbon that's been making history since 1795 invites you to make some of your own. It's the final days of Nissan's bottom line model year-end event. Get big clearance savings on the last of our 2018s. The bottom line, Nissan has received more initial quality awards than any other brand. The smartest time to buy an award-winning Nissan is now. Save up to 35.30 on the 2018 Rogue. Or get 0% financing for 60 months on 13 models. But hurry, the bottom line and our 2018s are almost gone. Your official Rolex jeweler is James & Sons in Chicago, Orland Park, and Cherville. This isn't a commercial. We're not trying to sell you anything. It's actually far more important. Deaths on Illinois roadways due to drunk or buzzed drivers are on the rise. That means everyone you know, including yourself, are at risk. And it's up to you to choose life or death. Brand new Subarus as far as the eye can see. Hi, I'm Rob Patter, owner of Evanston Subaru in Skokie. We're here with Sunny today with something special for everyone. Save now on the Subaru A Lot to Love event with 0% financing on most remaining 2018 models. Now arriving for immediate delivery is the all new 2019 Subaru Ascent, our biggest Subaru ever, with seating for seven or eight passengers and 19 cup holders. Evanston Subaru in Skokie on Oakton at McCormick and EvansonSubaru.com. Our Miller Lite bar of the game is Halftime Bar and Grill at 2405 Johnsburg Road in Johnsburg, way northwest, northwest suburb. You can't make it out to Wrigley Field this afternoon. Head on over to Halftime Bar and Grill and enjoy some ice cold Miller Lite. Uh, cheering on the North Siders. Please drink responsibly. Man, welcome back to Cubs Pregame Live, presented by the Fields Auto Group. He is David DeJesus. I'm David Kaplan. Okay, after this afternoon's contest, Cubs stretch of 23 games in 23 days. Hits the road for an 11 day, 11 game, four city roadie. Starts tomorrow night in Atlanta with a makeup game from back in May. Braves enter today's action with a record of 74 and 57. Has them atop the National League East, four and a half games ahead of the Philadelphia Phillies, who are the second team on this road trip this weekend. Philadelphia currently eight games over 500, then up to Milwaukee for three against the Brewers, who right now hold the second wild card spot. The road trip ends with four games in D.C. against Davey Martinez's Nationals. Things don't get it easier when the Cubs return home. Three more against the Brewers before finally having a day off on September 13th. That is quite a stretch. Yeah, that's a lot of baseball, and you're playing a lot of teams that are either at the top of their division or trying to get into that wild card spot. So, right now, these games matter. They're going to be facing all when, when they when teams play against the Cubs. They're coming for them. They know that they're the top right now, so they're gunning. They're bringing their best lineups out there and their best just here we're going to take it to you so we're going to see some big games and hopefully the Cubs can match their intensity yeah that's the key all right here's the Cubs lineup Schwarber in left Elmora in center 
Rizzo is at second base. Ben Zobris, Anthony Rizzo at first. David Bodie gets the start at short. First career start at that position in the big leagues. Wilson Contreras catches. Tommy Lestella at third. Alec Mills pitches. And Ian Happ is playing right field. So not a crazy, you know, Joe no. intimated, oh, wait till you see the lineup today. All right, Schwarber's back at the top. Whatever. I but think it was because of this game getting suspended and playing a little bit of today. It lost the little luxury of being a Let's be crazy. real funky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No question about it. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's a solid lineup. <laughs> it's, line yeah. it's not crazy like, <laughs> oh, my God, Rizzo's <laughs> catching today. You know, that's the way he is. If Schroeder was catching, then I'd be like, all right, this is crazy. Or but, Rizzo. Uh, <laughs> Riz, Riz, right. So, pitching. Anyway, time for our bona fide starting pitchers for the regularly scheduled game this afternoon. The Alec Mills for the Cubs, second career start against Jason Vargas, a veteran. This will be Mills' second start, as I said. Last Friday against the Reds, he allowed just one run on four hits in five and two-thirds innings. He walked one. He struck out eight. Our Kelly Kroll caught up with Mills in our Miller Lite game report. All right, well, Alec, getting ready to make your second Major League start now, and a lot of that was because of how great you looked in the last start. To know that Joe saw that and wanted to see it again, what does that mean to you? I mean, it means a lot, obviously. Um, you know, that they have the confidence in me uh, to let me, you know, get another go at it. Um, you know, just kind of one of those things that, you know, makes me feel good about all the hard work I put in. What has this week been like for you? I would assume routine-wise, it's a lot the same, right? Yeah, I mean, I honestly try to do the exact same thing I've been doing all year. Um, you know, this isn't any different up here. It's the same game, so uh, I'm just going to try to attack it the same way I always do. The one thing I do hear that's different, though, is the intense scouting reports that yeah. are delivered at this level. Yeah, and that's that's actually something I'm looking forward to, uh, you know, kind of delving into and, and really, you know, getting into because it's something I think that's going to make me a lot better pitcher. Um, so. It's always fun. What has your relationship been with so far with whether it be Mike Borzello or Jim Hickey? How has that developed here in the short time? Um, you know, I haven't had a chance to talk to him too much. Um, I think today um, is probably one of those days where I, I might sit down and have a real nice long talk with them and, you know, pick their brain to, to what can make me better and, and help me have success. When you think about what you were able to accomplish against the Reds in five and two-thirds innings and that one run, when you look at the Mets lineup now, what carries over for you? What is the most important thing for you to go out and have another great start? Um, you know, I think it's just something, you know, I do what I always do, attack, um, you know, fill up the zone and, and just try to create a lot of bad contact. All right, so there's a little bit from Alec Mills. Let's talk about this guy because he was really good the other day. We didn't know what to expect. I thought he did a really good job at getting ahead in the count and then keeping the ball down. And when he elevated, it had a little life, late yeah. life on yes, it. Yes, it had a little rise to the, at the end of it, and he was blowing by Reds hitters, but he was able to put that change up, that curveball, that slurve. He had five different pitches and was able to throw strikes with them. So he had hitters guessing all game long. And man, I, I love when guys come up there and do their job, get some success, and now the teams say, hey, we have confidence in you to go out there and do it and pitch another good game. So this, this, this is going to be another statement game for him. Can he repeat it? That's in the big leagues. It's tough to do. And it's amazing because he, you know, he wakes up today and goes, wow, I'm starting again in the big <laughs> leagues on a team with designs on winning another World Series. Exactly. This is not like you were recalled you know, to go play for the Baltimore Orioles who are giving everyone away. Exactly. This is big league stuff here. Every game matters. And right now, this is a big game. And now you just got to go out there, stay relaxed, go what you did, go do what you did last game, and you'll have success. Yeah, no question. All right, before we turn things back over to Len and JD, we'll each pick our key performers, get David's keys to this afternoon's series finale. There's still time to vote in our fan poll. I think the Cubs will extend Joe Madden's contract before the start of next season. It should. Results are coming up. best value. You don't need an overpaid celebrity spokesperson. I mean, even my sister here can tell you about our 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty and the highest-ranked midsize SUV in initial quality by J.D. Power. See, that wasn't so hard. You know I'm getting paid more than you, right? You're getting paid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> During Kia's America's Best Value Summer Clearance, lease the 2018 Sportage LX for $199 a month. 
Does your small business internet provider promise a lot? Let's see who delivers more. Comcast Business gives you gig speed in more places. The others don't. We offer up to six hours of 4G wireless network backup. Everyone else? No way. We let calls from any of your devices come from your business number. Them? Not so much. We let you keep an eye on your business from anywhere. The others? Nope. Get 75 megabits per second internet for $49.95 per month for two years when you get two voice mobility lines. Call or go online today. I like it sweet. I like it hot. Red gravy. Baptize it. Make it cheesy. Make it hurt. North side. South side. There's one thing both sides agree on. Bona beef. Bona, the original and most flavorful Italian beef. If tires could talk. What would yours say? This is where we prove German luxury cars are the best in the world. Infinity QX60. This is not German. Sliding second row. Why? Magic lift gate. Not for the track. This is unacceptable. Does it come in blue? During the Start Your Own Legacy sales event, lease the all-wheel drive Infiniti QX60 for $4.29 a month. Visit your local Infiniti retailer. Carspitality, the friendly and convenient services offered to guests at Bill Jacobs BMW. With amenities like our white glove concierge service, where we'll pick up and deliver your vehicle to your home or office and leave you a courtesy loaner. We utilize market-based pricing to save you time and money. BMW certified pre-owned vehicles go through a comprehensive inspection and road test. Make no payments for three months with unlimited miles for one year on select BMW certified pre-owned vehicles. Carspitality. See Bill Jacobs BMW, Aurora Avenue in Naperville. It's moving day. Let's talk about upgrades. From now on, when we move, we want everything, everything to be upgraded. We're upgrading our homes, our lives, whatever this thing is, and even our direct TV. Because when we sit in our new house with our better stuff, we want an equipment, programming, or premium channel upgrade, too. I'd say my work here's done. Do you live here now? The Direct TV Movers deal. Call today and ask how to get an equipment, programming, or premium channel upgrade. Xfinity is now the official Wi-Fi provider for Wrigley Field and Gallagher Way. Fans are able to access free Wi-Fi around Wrigley Field, so save your data and connect now. Xfinity, the exclusive Wi-Fi provider of Wrigley Field and the Chicago Cubs. And welcome back to Cubs pregame live presented by the Fields Auto Group. A couple of injury updates. Drew Smiley will pitch an inning at South Bend on Thursday as he continues his way back to the Tommy John. Brian Dunsing pitches again today on a minor league rehab assignment. Brandon Morrow threw from flat ground, said it's gone well. Addison Russell has begun throwing. No timetable yet for his return from a shoulder injury. And Chris Bryant will play again today in Iowa. No word if he would be available tomorrow yet in Atlanta, but the rosters do expand on Saturday. Let's look at the results of today's fan poll. We asked if you thought Joe Madden would get a contract extension before the start of the 2019 season next year. Here's what you said. 85% said yes. Absolutely. That's a no-brainer. That's yeah. north of 35,000 votes. So thank you for participating. Time for our Fields Auto Group. Keys to today's ball game. We start with key number one from my guy. Seize the day. All right. Vargas has started two games, two day games this season. Has a 12.91 ERA, giving up 11 earned runs and four homers in just seven and two thirds innings. And now then the Cubs are 19 and nine versus lefties. So this is a good matchup for the Cubs. They just got to keep the ball in the middle of the plate because this guy wants to nibble on the corner. All right, and go deep. If this is all about Mills getting length because their bullpen got used up yesterday and this morning's game. So being able to get five to six innings from him will be huge for the Cubs. All right, our key performers today, we're dead even for the whole year now. You won the last one, you get to go All first. All right, I'm going to go with a guy that has four multi consecutive multi-hit games and two, three-plus, you know, Here's games. A last. <laughs> I'm going to go, go with ahead, Adrian kid. Rizzo. A tough one, a tough one. What a <laughs> shock. All right, I am going to step out a little bit. My guy, my man, Ooh. Wilson Contreras. Wow, I like Big it. day today. Get her done, kid. All right, we'll see you on the post. All right, folks. Doug Glamble will join us as well for the post. Thanks for watching Cubs pregame live presented by the Fields Auto Group. Len and JD are coming up next as the Cubs and the Mets complete their three game series. See ya. There's nothing like summer at Wrigley Field. 
except for fall. The push is on, and when every W matters, we need everybody in. Hello, I'm Dan Fields, inviting you to become a member of the Fields family when you buy or lease from any of our 35 locations. Lease a new 2018 Mini S E Countryman All 4 for only $3.59 per month for 36 months at Mini of Chicago. They've become part of my family for the past 12 years. After all, you are family, and Fields matters because you matter. Right away, once we walked in, it felt like we were at home. Mini of Chicago on Diversity. Does this make you want a Reese's? Oh, how about this? Okay, we'll stop. Just kidding. We're not gonna stop. Not sorry, Reese's. It's not just a coaster, you know. It's an invitation. Jim Beam on the Rocks. The bourbon that's been making history since 1795 invites you to make some of your own. At King's Hawaiian Foods, we believe that when great food and laughs are shared with others, life's just more fun. And who better to share it with than those closest to us, our neighbors. So pull the grill out front, America. Be sure to have plenty of King's Hawaiian buns and barbecue sauce on hand. And let's make this the summer of the block party. King's Hawaiian Foods. Next time you're grilling, try our delicious King's Hawaiian barbecue sauces, crafted with the irresistible flavors of the islands. Welcome to Toyota's National Clearance Event. Only happens once a year. We've got the last of the 2018s. We have amazing deals. Great lease deals. Deals so good. I wish I came up with it, but... <laughs> Get in here. Toyota's National Clearance Event is the best part of summer. Right now, get 0.9% APR on a new 2018 Corolla. Or get $2,000 customer cash on Corolla during Toyota's National Clearance Event. I think we need more signs. Toyota, let's go places. A full house is on hand. Bright sunshine, it's warm, it's a perfect day to play. It's the New York Mets and the Chicago Cubs on NBC Sports Chicago, home of the authentic fan. The Cubs looking for a perfect homestand and a series sweep over the New York Mets. It is game three, final game of this season's series between the Mets and the Cubs. Great to have you with us, Jim Deshays and Len Casper. Less than